Allo, on okay. K, next tutorial. Before I start, I should point out this makeup is meant to be incredibly weathered, fairly aged, and just really rough looking. So, bear that in mind. Um, <laughs> it's actually meant to be for the character, the designer, from the upcoming movie Devil's Carnival 2, played by none other than David Hasselhoff. Yep, you heard me right, David Hasselhoff. Um, and all credit to him, plays it amazingly. I mean, having said that, I've not seen the film yet, I'm dying to see it, but I've seen it from the adverts and the one music video that's been released called Only By Design, which is where I got the actual makeup from. Um, those of you who have been subscribed to me for like a long time uh, might remember my Devil's Carnival 1 series. I did five or six makeups like from the original film, which is amazing. If you've not seen it, go and see it. It's an amazing like, short musical film um, from the makers of Repo the Genetic Opera amazing so i thought i would give this makeup a go it's meant to be this kind of like overly confident pompous arrogant creator kind of person yeah designer i should say yeah basically he's got all of his assistants holding up spoons and mirrors so he can see himself like he's that vain it's meant to be this overly painted geisha-esque type character that really could be really pretty i think but the aging of the makeup and the weatheredness of it and it just all adds to the character i think but i thought it'd be fun to do um just to continue my series there are some really complicated makeups from the film which i will be doing as well when the film comes out i can't wait to see more um but yeah so it's a really simple makeup to do makes a change really so other people out there can just give it a try i mean anyone could do this i think it's not something that needs to be neat at all it's just something that's just to play with really and the more messier the more weathered the look the better really so if you'd like to learn how to recreate this makeup stay tuned so the first thing I'm going to do is block out both the edges of my eyebrows because this there's only this half I need to really get rid of. The rest of it I'm just going to make a tiny bit lighter and then sweep the colour up. So just the tails of my eyebrows I need to get rid of. So I'll pop a link on the screen here to the tutorial where I teach you guys how to block your eyebrows out just so I don't have to do it in this video to make things go a little bit quicker. Yeah, so I'm going to block out the edges of my eyebrows and get back to you. Then I'm going to take some Snazaroo Clown White and I'm going to apply that all over my face and just slightly down my jaw. I'm not going to do my ears and I'm not going to do my neck. The whole point of this is it's very pantomime-y. He's literally just applied it to his face. There's nothing else going on here. So I'm going to apply that quite heavily just in the middle area and then I can blend that out with a Kabuki brush. Then I'm going to take a Ben Nye setting powder in super white and I'm just going to press that all over my face and really heavily on the edges of my brows that I've blocked out. Then I can brush away the excess. So then I'm going to work on the eyeshadow. So from what I can tell from the photos and the video, he seems to have a very golden eyeshadow starting off as like a base. So I'm going to use some Graftopian Magic Powder, which is this amazing powder, which when you mix it with um, their Magic Set Fluid, it turns into like a liquid like gold liquid metal it's amazing so i'm just going to apply a tiny bit of tiny tiny couple of drops to a little bit of the powder because a little bit goes a long way with this stuff and i'm just going to apply it right to my eyelid and then maybe halfway up my brow bone and i just went in the corners of my eye and just slightly underneath as well really doesn't matter how neat it is on the edges because that's going to be blended with some other colors afterwards so you just need to get that color in there for starters then i'm going to take a gorgeous red eyeshadow by sugar pill the actual name of it is that i don't know if that helps anyone out there <laughs> it's one of the limited edition colors it's gorgeous and i'm just going to use that quite heavily in a really firm but quite fluffy brush i'm going to use that to go very geisha straight down the edges of my nose and then straight out halfway to the edges of my brows. You'll see as I go along, but it's gonna be quite thick and quite straight across. I'm just gonna take some of that red and just go underneath the eye ever so slightly and just blend it out. Then I'm just going to take a new angle brush and I'm going to take the black eyeshadow by Sugar Pill. This is in Bulletproof. I'm going to use that to go really lightly just on the start of where the corner of my eye is and then pull it up at the edge of the red and then flick it upwards so it's the tail of the brow. I'm going to do that on both sides and then I'm just going to start tracing on over my eyebrow again and flick it up. So very, is it Jared? I think his name is? The Goblin King, I think from Labyrinth. Yeah, very much like that. Then I'm just going to take a new fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that colour in so it's more of a shadow than it is a harsh line. Okie dokie, so that's the shape I've gone for. I've left, I made sure the red's above the brow just so I can have the shape sweeping under because it needs to go around and up so it just looks a bit more quizzical. Then I'm going to take a Barry M Dazzle Dust 
This is in number 44, it's like a really nice coppery colour, if you can see that, ooh, there it is. And I'm just going to apply a tiny, tiny bit of that, and the reason I'm using this rather than the gold is just it blends a lot easier. So I'm just going to apply that just in the corner of my eye, and underneath slightly, and drag it along. I need to be careful I don't make this look too pretty, or too neat, because ultimately it needs to look like it's been worn in a lot. So just so you've got that shine in the corners of the eyes. So now I've done that eye, I'm just going to do this eye. Then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this Nazaru Clown White I'm just going to dab it on a fluffy brush and just go along the edges of the gold just to taper them off. And then I'm going to take some MAC Fluid Line, this is in black track, so black. I'm going to take a really sharp angle brush and do not so thick that it's like overly noticeable all the way going along the top of my lash line and maybe flick it up a tiny bit but only a tiny tiny bit. In case nothing too fancy, just a small flick up. I've also gone along the edge of just half of my eye on this side and then tapered it off towards the centre. So then I'm just going to do this eye. Then I'm going to take a small contour brush and I'm just going to use that same red again. And I'm going to do some really, really, really red and very pantomime cheeks. So try and line it up with the corners of your mouth and just start it darker here and then fade the colour out. But it's going to be quite dark. taking the powder again I'm just going to press that over where my cheekbones are and what the heck why not underneath as well and just brush the excess away it does help to leave that sitting there for about five minutes just so it can really sink into the layers of powder and cream just so it doesn't blend off later now the lips for this makeup is fascinating, they're like a bright red but there's no right proper shape, it's quite like a stain, so it's very strange. So I'm going to use a Revlon 725, love that red, hopefully you can see that, yeah. So I'm going to apply that, not with the regular brush that I would use, I'm going to use a bigger black brush for this, a firm brush, not a lip brush. First of all I'm going to do the shape that I normally would and then I'm just going to blend the edges out slightly, so let's assume he's been kissing a lot. Yeah, kissing a lot of people and it's blended out a bit. I think that's probably the most apt description. <laughs> and then I've just started taking the same brush that I used for the foundation and I'm just blending it out so it retains, kind of retains the shape, but it's proper blended. <laughs> cool, that was the most painful thing I've ever done. Every part of me wants to neaten it up and take things off and nope, got to look like this. Yes. Then, the fun part, I'm going to apply some colour to my chest, my neck and my ears. The reason I'm going to be doing this particular thing next is because the Hoff in general has got a very tanned skin tone. I don't know if this is on purpose for the film, but his skin tone is very orangey tanned. So, I'm going to do a very, very loose wash of a Snazaru Copper watercolour, just to give that bronze look. But it's going to be very, very, very light washed all over my chest, neck and ears. There we are, so nothing dark, nothing to change ethnicity or anything like that, it's just to look very sun-kissed. Too sun-kissed, I think. Um, but then I'm just going to take a Clinique um, number 3 sun-blushed powder, and I'm just going to do that over my body again, just to make it extra bronzed. I wouldn't usually go this far into something, um, but it just makes me laugh. I just think the whole point of it is just to have the big contrast with the face makeup and then the tanned skin. It's just the fact that he didn't bother to do the rest of his body, he just did his face, there's no ears, nothing like that. So yeah, it's just part of the character really. So for the hair, I'm not going to use a wig, I'm going to use my own hair. I'm just going to take a white hairspray and I'm going to spray really lightly the front of my hair and I'm just going to comb it through so my hair goes a bit more grey. Okie dokie, so yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to do something that's probably going to lose me a lot of respect from people out there that are fans of the Hoff, but this is what's going to make this a character makeup. So I'm going to take a 1001 Brown Cream by Grimace and a really sharp angle brush and I'm going to start adding a lot of frown lines, the nasal labial fold, to basically age lines and stress lines to this makeup just to make it a real proper character makeup because I don't want it to be pretty, I want it to be as exact as I can get it. So I'm just going to do some, re not really heavy with the lines, I just want a light bit of the colour, the brown colour and I'm going to do some around my nasal labial fold, some forehead wrinkles, some crow's feet. I'm just going to time lapse through that and I'll blend it afterwards so I can show you where I've gone. Okay, so some light crow's feet, 
around the eyes, nasal labial folds, some pouting cheeks, and their forehead. So I'm gonna blend this out so it's not overly prominent, but because it's gonna have makeup on top of it, that's the point, it's meant to be hidden by this makeup. So I'm just gonna blend like all this color outwards, these wrinkles need to be blended upwards, these need to be blended downwards, just away from where the fatty areas are meant to be. So don't add any more color, just take the same brush and just sweep the color out. Okay, so we're not going for old, we're just going for Hoff. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've, I, the only thing I've not really blended is the crow's feet because they can, I know, as long as they're thin enough, should be fine for this look. And there we go, so that's the look complete. So I finished look off, I pop on a black shirt with a collar, obviously a big collar, uh, and a white tuxedo jacket. Yeah, so a completely, completely simple makeup that's the messier the better really and it's just one of them fun character makeups that I've not done in a while. I mean I really enjoyed doing my Devil's Carnival series before. I'm so happy that there's a sequel coming out so I can revive it and do some more character makeups and yeah just some simple makeups that are just a laugh to do really. So yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I know it's messy but as I keep saying that's meant to be the point. Um, you could obviously take this design and do something a lot prettier with it. I mean you could stop halfway through and just make the lips neater if you wanted to but yeah I don't know I think it makes it more interesting having it like aged up and weathered. So yeah, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like it, please make sure to you know the usual. Rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz because it super helps me out. And yeah, see you until next time. Bye guys!